Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a uh, quick tips and tricks video about uh, Windows 10 and the uh, defrag tool. Do you need to use the defragmenting tool in Windows 10 um, in October or April 2018 update? Of course uh, disk fragmentation is something that's still happening so within the way that Windows works of course while you erase and write new files there are some spaces left behind that uh, of course will uh, be on your hard drive and the more of these uh, spaces available uh, the more little parts or the more your files and your programs especially the big files get broken up into small parts that are everywhere on the hard drive but there's something about the defrag tool in Windows 10 that is kinda cool is that by default it automatically runs on your computer if you tend to leave your computer turned on without attention, without doing anything for a little while, the defrag tool actually starts automatically. That means you don't really have to think about it. If we look at uh, the defrag tool and if you want to see more about it, what you could do is go into your file explorer and then go into this PC. You will see, of course, your local disk, like, for example, here my local disk C. Right-click on it go into properties and there in the tools you will see that there's something called optimize and defragment drive click there and you will notice and it's going to tell you last time that it ran for example i haven't personally run the defrag tool in months and um, if, if not years and look it says zero percent fragmented it says here the last time it ran was 18 february and today we are the 18th of february so that means earlier when I was not using my PC, the defrag tool started automatically to check out and try to arrange the files on my hard drive. So unless you really don't give it time to do it, it actually does it by itself. But of course, if it says that it's very fragmented, you can click the analyze button. If you click the analyze button, this will, of course, will bring the defrag tool and tell you how much fragmentation there is you can click optimize to fix it and uh, for those that say well I've got a solid state drive and apparently you don't do that yes you do it a defrag tool is also useful for SSD a solid state drive needs to be defragmented it also has fragmentation happening and yes you have to run it if you want your SSD to run as fast as possible it will not degrade your SSD and you know a lot of people are scared about the reads and writes and they are careful on SSDs you don't have to imagine that you know it's millions of reads and writes per cell every little cell on that SSD you know what before you reach that you'll probably have changed your SSD or your solid state drive so uh, don't go crazy or overly uh, be overly concerned about it so yep Defrag tool still exists. It's still useful, but thanks to a uh, nice automatic process, it usually is already okay, and you don't have to run it. It's not like in the past. And by the way, if you use a third-party defrag tool, honestly, it uh, is not needed, especially in Windows 10 because it already does it automatically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.